everybody welcome to this come shopping with me video it's been a while since I did one of these and I am going on my ollies I mean by the time you're watching this I actually think I'll be just coming back from my holidays but I'm going on my holidays in two days and I've got all the last minute bits to do as always everything is last minute so I thought I'd bring you along with me and then I get some I would need like a I need to pick up a few clothes the beauty stuff, you know, the boots we only need for holiday, but I just thought we'd film it and bring you guys along. Um, before we go, I'm just going to show you a couple of items I've got already for me jollies. The first of which are these gorgeous slides from Dear Frances. You've heard me talk about Dear Frances so many times, she's one of my all-time favourite shoe designers. She is always far too generous and she sent me these. Um, she's just the best. Like I love them so much. I've been wearing them already, as you can see. And they're so so comfortable they're also available in white and in like a cow print it's so cool and um, i went for these gorgeous gorgeous dusty pink suede ones and they've got the mesh bit here but this is like the ultimate holiday shoe i love slides for holidays and james sorted me out dear francis sorted me out once again so i'm chuffed to bits with those the second thing isn't that holiday-ish because it's a jacket but i'm gonna wear it today and i think i might also like travel in it um because it's so, a very lightweight summerish jacket so maybe you could get away with it on holiday um it's this one by the brand now toteme i think is how you say it um and it's got like power shoulders which was a bit unsure about at first but now i really like it i'm going to show you on in a second and then this belt around the waist and the dark buttons and stuff i think it's really cool so I just want to show you those two quality bits that I've got already before we set off on our quest into the rain while trying to feel holiday-ish but failing because it's grey and rainy as always but yeah let's see what we end up with.
shopping is finito for the day. I'm now a little bit sweaty, a little bit greasy, a little bit minging, I've had to turn my hair back and I'm at that point where I'm now ready to put my comfies on. So I'm just going to quickly show you everything I've bought and yeah, let me know what you think of it all. So that you've seen, so the boot stuff, you saw me pick all that up, like deodorant, dry shampoo, razors, boring stuff really, that's not interesting. Um, sticking with beauty for a minute. From Harvey Nicks, I've got a new bronzer. I've run out of mine. And so I picked up the Hula bronzer by Benefit. I've never tried this before, but it looks like it's a really nice, um, not too much of an orangey colour, more of a tan colour, and that's what I like because I'm quite fair. Sometimes it can look a little bit uh, orange. So I picked that up from Harvey Nichols. Also from Harvey Nicks, I got some face sun cream. This is by Dermalogica. It's ultra sensitive tint in SPF 30. So I'm thinking this is going to be good. SPF 30 is a good SPF obviously as well. And it's kind of got a little bit of colour in it. So you know if you're at the beach or at the pool or something and you... Like, because I take pictures of myself wherever I go, essentially. Um, it's nice to have a little bit of something on the face. So, you know, so your skin looks a bit better. But I'm not about to be wearing makeup to the beach. I've not got time for that. But that just evens you out nicely. You know, they dropped it on the floor. What else have we got? So, Urban Outfitters. I picked up two things from there. The first... They're both inside out. The first is this black shirt. This is super lightweight. And I thought it's going to be good for holiday, but also good for when you get back from your jolly. So, a little bit more versatile. Um, this is by what brand Ecote. I'm sure that's not how you say it. And it was £39. I got this in a medium, and it's just a really sheer, well, not sheer, but very lightweight, linen y kind of black shirt with one of the tie things going up here. Um, very simple, very wearable, a great thrower on it. And I also got this is going to be part of my next testing basics, which will be up next week. So, we won't dwell on this one too often because you'll see it again. Um, but this dress like a kind of smock style cream dress with a bit of a lacy lacy detailing i liked this a lot really lightweight as well and maybe possibly a good beach cover up too we shall see i also went to zara and i've not tried this on yet it was 10 pounds in the sale basically i saw a picture on tumblr i think it was of like a woman in a swimming costume and she had on a really cool printed scarf wrapped around her waist as like a sarong and I was like oh I want to be as cool as that when I'm on holiday so I bought a scarf I didn't want to get a sarong because I felt like a scarf was easier to find than a sarong and this was nice print it's ginormous so it's definitely gonna be long enough to kind of wrap around and tie up I liked the colors on it the print is printy but not too printy that it scares me just the right nice a right nice just the nice Oh, just the right amount of print and colour for me, really. Um, as this says, it was £16. When I got to the till, it was £10 for a result. Um, so that's going to be a good little holiday piece because it's a scarf I'll probably sweat to death, but we'll see. And two more things. We're going like the clappers here, aren't we? We've got these shorts from Under the Stories. These are so cute. I love them. These were £45. And... They're just some pinstriped light blue shorts with these cute little tie things at the sides. I struggle with shorts. I don't like really short shorts. Um, all of my height is in my legs. And so I just feel like I look like a daddy long legs if things are too short. And, and I end up tugging at them the whole time. It's just too much going on really. So these are a little bit long, which I really like. But if you're short, you might not like that. Um, but they're kind of a nice fit as well. Just, just nicely tailored, but still casual. And... Oh, I might wear that with my Urban Outfitters blouse together and some sandals of some sort. That would be quite a nice outfit, wouldn't it? Oh, I need to drink my tea as well in a minute. Oh, there's nothing better than a cup of tea. Okay, so the final thing I've got, which is the one I'm probably most excited about. Oh, I've ripped the bag. Okay, we've done it. Right, and these are sunglasses. So these are on sale. The Black Prada. Yeah, these were, oh, these were full price. Full price, these were free. <laughs> no, I think they were like £122 and 30% off, so I paid £155 for them. 
and very nice case. And then these, oh you don't get, oh you do get a glass screen, it's here in the thing, panic over everybody. Um, they're these round sunglasses and what I liked about them was they, the colour of the lens which was, is kind of like greyish but not really cool grey, like a warm grey which is quite nice. This is a really nice little detail as well down the nose. Um, but yeah, I like the tortoise shell and into round sunglasses at the moment. I've got those round ray bands which loads of people have got, they look amazing on everybody and I love them. So I thought I'd go for something else round but a little bit bigger and with a little bit more going on so they were more exciting for when you're wearing like boring just dresses on holiday. That thing's annoying me though so I can get that cut off. But I really really like these and I thought £155 was not too bad for some Prada Sunnies, I was pretty chuffed with that. Okay, that is everything so... Hey, if you enjoyed this video, it's been a little bit of a mismatch of things, but I've really enjoyed making it, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Maybe I can do some more like this in the future. Um, to see things styled up, have a look on the, my blog. I think that maybe some posts will be up already, actually, of these things, but if not, there'll definitely be some bits going up later on this week of how I've styled these items up. And yeah, thank you very, very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video.